How to create a sign up form for your contacts using Brevo. Hey everyone, and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step what you need to do, uh, or the steps that you need to take to create your sign up form for your contacts in Brevo. So, it is going to be a very simple and straightforward video, uh, and it's not going to be difficult at all. So, just go ahead, go to Revo.com, obviously, and go ahead and sign in or create your account and go to your account dashboard. So, basically, uh, this is going to be where we create a sign up form, meaning a actual email or something that is going to have the email form, the name form, and so many different uh, things that we can add. And I will show you all of those things that we can do. So, the first thing is going to be adding your contacts if you didn't do that so you can just go ahead and import contacts from here so just go to brivo click on the contacts tab here import your contacts and this should be done so now that this step is done uh, we can go ahead and go to the settings uh, tab now forms is where we need to go to actually create it but before that we can add a few things um, to use in the forms now we can do it from here but i prefer to go to the settings so make sure you click on contacts and go to settings now in here we will need to click on contact attributes so just make sure you click on that now you have a list of all the attributes that we can add in our forms like email uh, the attribute attribute type is going to be text last name text first name text sms text which is going to be number and then uh, a few things more now what we can do is click on add a new attribute we can give it a name so for example the uh, test attribute and we make this a number or category for example and now we can actually add categories so we can actually just rename this as uh, choose let's just name it as that and then categories is one is going to be um t1 here t2 or let me just make it t2 t3 this is just one example of what you can create i'm just going to show you because uh, i need you to understand how to create attributes which then we can add in the form so you can again just create more attributes here so for example um Let's see if, yeah, there you go. For example, birth day, click on OK. And now can, we can add a birthday as well. It should be down here. So now that we are done with the attributes, we can just go back. And it should be saved already. Uh, and now we can just go ahead and click on forms. And basically here we will be able to create the forms that we need. So we just wait for it to load and we will be able to create a new form. And then from there, uh, just edit things out to make it a sign up form. Uh, for some reason, it's taking too long. So I'm just going to restart and let me just get back to you once this loads and I don't know what happened. Okay, so it took some time to work, but regardless, just go to contacts, forms, and then here you can create your subscription form. Uh, and you can also create unsubscription form if you want to. So now we just go ahead and go to subscription form and then we click on create a subscription form. Now we can actually create multiple uh, depending on if we want to have it different for each group of people. So if you wanted to have specific uh, sign up form for a specific group of people or segments, uh, you can do so. So just give it a name. So we just do sign up form. And now this one enable GDPR fields is going to be if there are any Europeans that could sign up to this form. Uh, if so, you can just or you need to enable this and click on next. So next up is going to be the designing elements. So here we will be able to design but I'm just going to talk about the rest because this may take a lot of time to talk about uh, you have the lists here you will choose the list of people you want to add to this sign up for so like I said if you want to create a specific sign up form for a specific group of people you can do so and this is how you have some settings and messages and share 
So here for the design, here's going to be where we'll be able to um, basically design the aspects of the signup form. Here on the right side is pretty much the signup form, the default. And on the left, we will have the settings and uh, blocks that we can add. So building blocks like title, text, image, divider, and so on. Now, first to get started, we can just click on form design and we can design the text, the background, the colors, and so much more. So we can change the text, we can change the title, and we can change the fonts for all the titles that are present in here. We can also change the color of the text, so we can make it uh, black instead of the color that it was in. Same goes here, we can just go ahead and drag this down here. Uh, label is going to be also the same we can just change this to that and all of those things we can change the colors for and so on so this is for the text for writing direction is it from left to right or is it right to left completely up to you you can see how it's going to look like it's going to be weird but if it's for example in arabic it should be right to left but for english left to right now background is what we can do is change the background color we can make it gray or we can actually go ahead and choose an image to change the actual background you can just choose file click on upload and you'll be able to choose an actual image to use as the background uh, i can't go back so i'm just going to choose uh, this for the sake of it and i'll just be using it for the sake of this example so insert and it should work okay so apparently because i went back it just took me back here for subscription sign up form let's go back to designing it okay so the background didn't form because i as you saw i was clicking the back arrow i tried to exit out of it but regardless you can always just go back to form design change the background color to what you want and you can see the rest of the stuff here, like container, button, so much more. This is going to be the designing aspect. Now here, the most important part is you can actually edit the things in here by changing the text to uh, sign up form or whatever you want to name it. Uh, just click on the text that you want to edit, select whatever you want to edit, and just change the text in here. Now this is going to be the form, the first attribute, which is going to be the email. I will remove the help text so it's going to be looking more clean and now to add more attributes we can just go to the build section here and drag and drop the attributes here we click on it change it to the first name attribute and then we just go ahead and make it single line and we just remove the help text and we make sure that it is required or not completely up to you uh now this is done we can add more attributes for example the one that we have just created uh for example we can choose to have the birthday um attribute and now they all need to enter a date so this is the one that we have just created and there's more attributes same goes for any other building block so we can just go ahead and select the building stuff and just drag and drop so it's very simple to use we have also the capture, but you will need to enable it first. You can just drag and drop it, which is going to be very useful. So you don't really have a lot of bots and so on. Check boxes and so much more. We can actually go ahead and set up and you should be good to go after you are done with this. So add all the attributes that you want, set things up accordingly, opt in. Uh, we can just remove the help text. This way is going to be much cleaner. And we can also change the section so the birthday one is on top of this and this is going to be at the bottom okay great so now that this is done we can just click on next select the actual list okay so they recommend the capture but i'm not going to add it regardless i'm just going to click on next it's not mandatory i don't know why they're trying to force it. okay there you go so we can just scroll down so select the list of the contacts that you want to send it to i'm just selecting all next and then we have these settings here you can just go ahead and see the confirmation settings so whether you want it to be 
double confirmation email or if you want it to be simple confirmation email and so on i'm just going to leave it as it is and click on next uh yeah this one so i'm just going to be selecting this and the domain is i'm not i don't really have a specific one let me just use this so you know what let me just keep it as this no confirmation email but just let me pass so just set the confirmation email to your liking and then the message here you can just set up the messages that are going to show up for the contacts once they sign up so once they sign up is going to be a success message you can adjust this and values or information you can adjust this to your liking same goes for error message and empty field click on next and you'll be able to be uh, or you'll be able to share the actual um, embed for your uh, form if you want so here you have also the link uh, and if you want to have a qr code you can just download it from here and use it so just keep this link and if you want to embed it you can just use these codes and click on done and you are good to go you have just created your sign up form using bravo very easily and this is pretty much all you need to do to create your sign up forms in brevo it is very easy and simple with that being said i hope you liked this video and found it to be helpful and that's all i have for you today and thanks for watching